Lovable Farm has had, it has enjoyed a national reputation for growing fine vegetables, but it's only on a scant two acres. This property will allow us to walk the walk and talk the talk. Part of our mission is to teach people how to grow their own food, and that's an, just coming coming out of growing for yourself and teaching your kids how to do it, then you want to teach others how to do it. And when people come to our farm, and they, I had a tomato fruit stand, and they would come and, and ask me, well, how do you do this? How do you tell if they're ripe? How do you, you know, grow this crazy stuff? And that was the beginning, the genesis of me being a teacher, is, is people coming on our farm and asking me questions about it. This is about two feet wide, a little less than two feet wide and then we just put them side by side by side. We've lost the ability as a generation to even ascertain whether when a tomato is ripe. You go to the grocery store and you're feeling uh, an, an, a very hard tomato that wasn't ripened properly. It was grown, picked when it's green, it's shipped, it's gassed with ethylene gas to bring out the red color. We think that a tomato is a hard, tasteless orb because that's what you get in the grocery store. But um, our parents should have been growing veg in, in your own backyard, teaching your kid, this is what a properly ripe tomato feels like. We have classes that we give, that's a huge part of our income. Uh, we uh, have our tomato seedling sale. We sell tomato plants in the spring, and I know that seems like a, l a little bitty thing, but this year I think we're, we're almost at 20,000 plants that we've sold. The intricacy of all of those three things um, growing vegetables for a restaurant, get, being an uh, educational facility, and being a nursery, most places would just focus on one of those things. They wouldn't focus on all of these things, yet we have to in order to make this Rubik's Cube of a financial arrangement work. We're losing farmers in this country at, a, at a, an alarming rate. We actually need 300 to 400,000 new farmers in the next 20 years in this country, or else we're gonna lose our small farm um, capabilities. It's all gonna be big ag. It's all gonna be Monsanto-based crops. It's all, all gonna be monoculture. And unless we grow these new farmers and teach them and train them, we're gonna lose our farmer's markets. We're gonna lose our, the diversity of crops in this country. There used to be 300, 400 varieties of apples available in this country, and now we're down to Granny Smith's and, and Red Delicious and maybe the John and Gold Apple and maybe four or five you can get at a farmer's market or, or in a grocery store. We've lost the ability to have this diverse uh, polyculture of, of uh, plants and even, even heritage breed animals too. I hope that it, we can establish a legitimate proper farm university where we expand our curriculum into the meat animal production and more vegetables and we're able to teach more people how to farm and it will be a uh, accredited farm university.